So if you think European civilization, you probably think of Europeans colonizing far off places and making themselves the dominant population. Well, what if I told you the same thing often happened to Europe from foreigners? So many people know about how Spain was once a Muslim province, the Mongols owned Eastern Europe, and the Ottomans held the Balkans. Yet none of these places ever became populated by the outsiders, at least not enough to be noticeable. That is, unless you know where to look. For this video, I am excluding places such as the western part of Turkey, northern Cyprus, western Kazakhstan, and the fuzzy Europe-Asia border of Russia. Alright, so our first look is at Malta, which is the only European country to speak a Semitic language, even though it was influenced enormously by Italian. Well, are these people actually Semitic or North African? Well, surprisingly a decent amount, with roughly 30% of their DNA being non-European. Our second example is Hungary, and its fellow Uralic-speaking brothers Estonia and Finland. All of these countries speak a language that comes from Asia, however they do not exactly look Asian. Alright, well what about the Sami people in the far north of Finland? They look pretty Asian. Well, the thing is these people might not even be foreign, or at least were in Finland before the Uralic people. What about those Crimean Tatars I talked about in History of the Turks? Well, these people seem to look at least decently non-European, and they have the genes to prove it, with a quarter being Slavic, a third being Caucasian, which are basically half Middle Eastern and half European, and the rest coming from steppe and Eastern Asian DNA. So being generous, as this is just a rough estimate of Crimean Tatar DNA, you could say most Crimean Tatars are at least a full 50% non-European. Alright, well what about full-on foreign people that who have not assimilated? Meet the most interesting culture you've never heard about. These people are called the Kalmyk. Kalmyks. Kalmyks? Kalmyks? Kalmyks. 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 <laughs> Kalmyks. They're descendants of people from northwestern China and western Mongolia who were pushed out by the ruling Mongol Khans and Qing Empire until by the 17th century they had immigrated all the way to southern Russia by the border with Kazakhstan. Moving in there was not actually quite a disturbance, as nomadic Asian steppe people had always come and gone and mixed with the European Slavs. In fact, I bet a good chunk of the Kalmyks have European DNA. I mean, look at this person who is Kalmyk, and she looks decently Slavic. Well, according to my research, Kalmyks have an average 10% European slash Caucasian DNA. That makes them the most foreign group of people in Europe before the 19th century, and although do, they do not have their own country, they do have their own state in Russia, which is the only region in Europe that is majority Buddhist. It is so fascinating to see how many foreign cultures have existed in Europe, well before the influx of the Muslims and Chinese. Hope you guys like this video, and I hope you subscribe.